No live videos today, kids. But I want to talk about what makes Megan so scary. You see, it's not the ones you see coming. It's not the ones that openly show themselves. It's the ones that are quiet. It's the ones that move through life seemingly normal, kind, sweet. It's those that you have to be scared of. It's crazy how when this case came out, everyone in the true crime community, even myself included, slowly veered towards the husband. But I've talked about this. I am the most likely person to ever do harm to Nikki. Now, I'm never going to do that, but the veil is the thinnest between us. We sleep next to each other. That's how close. And if you tear that veil, it's life and death. It's crazy. Because more lives are started right here in the bed. But more lives are taken between the two in the bed. Those are just facts. So everybody veered toward Shane. But it was the close, quiet, kind seemingly level, normal, that was the real monster. That's why I could never kill no one. Huh? Could never do it. Yeah, I could protect my family. We're normal, see? Mom and daughter fighting over laundry. <laughs> We're a normal family. If y'all hear that in the background, don't call Child Protective Services. It's just a mom arguing with her 11-year-old about laundry. We could never, I could never kill anyone because people would go, see, you saw the video. You seen it. It was a warning. It was a warning sign. Why didn't someone turn him in? He was crazy on YouTube. He said these things on YouTube. But it's the quiet one. It's the unassuming one. It's the kind one. Those. It's the ones that slide in. Try to come in with this message of peace. And then all of a sudden. Whoosh, they try to take you out. It's a metaphor for life. We see it in these murders, but we see it in this YouTube drama as well. The quiet, kind ones. The ones that slide in. Try to love on everybody. Looking for their victims. Let those that have ears hear.